national day in a southern Indiana courtroom today as two murder suspects come face to face with the victims' families. WLKY's Tim Elliott spoke with the daughter of one of the victims. He joins us now with more. Tim? Well, Rick, security was tight today at the Orange County Courthouse in Paoli. Exactly one week since this deadly shooting took place. That's because family members of the victims came to confront the accused killers. He's not here no more, and there, there's nothing anybody can do to bring him back. That's the voice of a daughter who just lost her father. I can't call my dad dad anymore. I can't see his face. I can't talk to him when I need him. That voice belongs to Nikki Fields' daughter. Fields and Michael Harris were both shot to death inside a mobile home in Paoli on Monday. Daniel Smithson was also shot but survived. They took his life away from him over nothing, nothing that matters. Police believe these three men are the killers. Suspects John Carpenter and James Davidson made their first appearance in Orange County Court on Monday. In the courtroom, Fields' daughter came face to face with Davidson and the two exchanged words. I said, You killed my father and I hope you die. And he looked right straight at me and he said, I will. According to court documents, the day before he died, Nikki Fields expressed concern that John Carpenter was out to hurt him. Those documents also indicate that what happened inside that mobile home was a robbery gone wrong. There was blood all over the floor, blood all over the wall, blood all the way down the hallway. A massive six day manhunt for the suspects ensued. Elbert Brooks and Davidson were busted last week. Carpenter was finally caught early Sunday morning. It wasn't like he was getting far, it wasn't like he had a lot of options. Carpenter was found hiding out inside this barn on a rural road just outside of Corridon. In the state, we found him in being dehydrated, being hungry, being tired. Uh, at some point, with any person, that's going to wear on you and more or less force you just to, to want it to end. And I think that was the case with Carpenter. All three suspects are charged with two counts of murder and one count of attempted murder. Now the victims' families want justice and answers. I want them to pay for what they did. I want to know who killed my dad. I want to know exactly which one killed my dad, and I want to know why. Now, Carpenter and Davidson are each being held on a $1 million bond. Their trial is expected to start come November. Tim Elliott, WLKY News.